Hello again and welcome back to Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this video we're going to be trying out a few different picks. Um, mainly from a company called Timbertones. Uh, I came across Timbertones a few years ago um, when I picked up some of their exotic hardwood picks. And there's one that I've been playing for quite a while which is this one. It's a hardwood uh, pick made out of Purple Heart. Really nice pick to use, quite comfortable, quite a nice sound. Uh, it's been played quite a bit, I think I've reprofiled it with sandpaper a couple of times to keep the edge on it. Um, but recently I picked up a couple more picks from Timber Tones, um, made out of some other materials. I've got this one which is made out of horn and this other one which is made out of uh, buffalo bone. So I thought what we'd do in this video is just play them, compare how they sound, how they feel and by way of a reference see how they compare to just a regular uh, celluloid pick. So this is one of my own fat fish one millimeter heavy celluloid picks. If you've met me at a, a show or a guitar show or something like that, you probably got one of these yourself because I tend to give them away as little uh, freebie promotional items. Guitar wise for the electric stuff, I'm going to be playing this. It's a Fender Telecaster, it's a Fender Baja Tele. The Baja Tele's got a few uh, tricked out pickup switching combinations, but I'll just stick to regular Tele sounds that you know the bridge and the neck pickup. This particular guitar has got an American Vintage 52 pickup at the bridge and an American Vintage 58 at the neck. Fairly standard classic sort of Telecaster sound. Okay, so let's start off with some strummed chords, uh, just using the regular celluloid pick. Hear how that sounds. Just picking some stuff. So that sounds fairly familiar, really. It's it's what a pick sounds like. Let's try some of the picks from Timber Tones. First of the Timber Tones picks then is this Timber one made out of uh, Purple Heart, like hardwood. A little bit thicker than the celluloid pick, it's probably two millimetres, maybe it's a little bit more. It sits very comfortably in the hand, feels nice, quite tactile. You can feel the grain of the wood and play it on the guitar, same setting, so this is a bridge pickup. Uh, play a few chords and then do a little bit of picking. Now, I don't know how well the sound difference is going to come across on YouTube. I know sometimes YouTube compresses the audio a little bit and you lose some of the nuances. But certainly in the room, I can hear a difference there. It's a, it feels brighter than it does with the celluloid pick. Now, some of that difference in the room is coming from what I can hear where the pick's hitting the string. It's certainly just acoustically. It's a, it's a harsher attack. Um, but I think on the audio mix you'll hear it because I can hear what's coming out of the amp down there. Uh, the amplified signal to me certainly in the room sounds a, a little bit different. It's subtle, it, you know, it's going to end up being like the tone wood debate where people are expecting you know, masses of difference from one, one uh, thing to another. It's not, the difference is quite subtle, but personally I think there is a difference there. So that's the wooden pick, the purple heart. Let's try the next one. Okay, so next up is this one. It's made out of horn. Uh, it's the same basic shape as the timber pick. It feels a little bit thicker, possibly. Maybe not. Certainly the tip isn't, I don't think it's profiled quite as sharp as the, uh, as the timber one. Uh, horn supposedly feels and sounds as close as you can get to um, Tortoise shell or turtle shell, which obviously you can't use for, for making guitar picks out of, but back in the day that was what picks were made of. It's got quite a classic sort of pick sound. So let's try this. This is the, the horn pick. Thank you. 
Okay, so first impressions with that, I, I quite like it. Um, it's quite a shiny finish on the pick, but it doesn't feel difficult to grip. Uh, it's quite a heavy gauge pick, um, possibly slightly thicker than the, the wooden one, not too sure. It's certainly as thick, maybe it's a fraction, fraction thicker. Um, but certainly the tip isn't finished quite to quite such a sharp edge, so it doesn't feel quite as um, as efficient and speedy going over the over the strings. I think that's just a, a feel thing, and you'll get used you will get used to it. Just where one pick feels than the other, you can kind of notice that you notice the difference a bit more because you've got such an immediate frame of reference. If you see what I mean, um, but I think with you know with with a bit of playing, you'd get used to that, and the shape wouldn't hold you back too much. Certainly, I like the sound of it. It's a little bit uh, warmer, I think, than the um, the wooden pick. A little bit softer tone, but not unpleasant at all. I, I do do quite like that. Let's move on to the next one, which is the buffalo bone. Okay, so this is the buffalo bone pick. Uh, same basic shape and size as the the timber one and the horn one. Uh, Similar thickness, I uh, think the tip is possibly slightly thicker than the horn one and I'm guessing that's something to do with the, just the material that you can't take bone to such a, a sharp point and maybe it's going to be a little bit brittle. Certainly feels nice in the hand, it's got a good weight to it and actually a little bit of um, almost like wood grain sort of texture to it. Uh, let's see how it sounds. interesting for all it's polished there's enough grain in the in the bone you can feel it kind of catching against the strings certainly in the in the room with the the acoustic sound if you like of, of the pick hit and the strings it's got very harsh but very um, very sharp attack to it quite um, quite a brittle sort of sound and I think that's coming across in the in the electric and the amplified signal as well um, let you judge for yourself what 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 you think of the the difference in sound. The sounds quite nice. Um, certainly more attacky and harsh than the uh, than the horn pick was. Feel wise, certainly not my favourite of the bunch. Uh, it it does feel like it's dragging against the strings a little bit. I was playing this um, when I first got it just with my little cigar box guitar, and playing it on the cigar box. The whole, the uh, the bone pick actually won out against the horn, um, just the way it, it kind of worked with the harshness of the cigar box guitar, but just with the the regular telly on the bridge pickup, which is really giving you the the really trebly sort of sound. Uh, this is feeling a little bit too harsh for me compared to the others. I'm not saying I don't like it. There's just other picks I like more. Okay, that's the electric guitar, let's hear how they sound on an acoustic. Okay, so back with uh, this is my Turner Guitars C32. This is an electroacoustic, but for this demo, you're only hearing the acoustic side of it off the, uh, the microphone in the room. So let's hear how this sounds. So starting again as a reference with the regular one millimeter celluloid pick. Mm -hmm. So there's your reference tool, and let's try something with the wooden pick from Timber Tones.
definitely you can hear a difference with that. A uh, bit brighter, a little bit uh, harsher in the attack. Uh, personally, I prefer that over the sound of the celluloid pick. Thirdly, we've got this. This is the horn pick. Again, let's see how that sounds with some chords and then some picking. bone, get some chords and then we'll play some, uh, some picking. That's very, very harsh. Um, I really think you're gonna be able to hear the contrast, even you know the way, like I said before, YouTube tends to compress the audio and you don't necessarily get the full, full quality of sound. I think you're really gonna hear the difference between that and the other picks. Very harsh uh, sound, not unpleasantly so, just got a lot of uh, quite sharp attack to it. One thing we haven't done is hear how they sound on a distorted channel. You know, sometimes the when you put a bit of saturation onto a onto a guitar amplifier, it brings out a, a set of harmonics that you don't necessarily hear so much with um, with the clean channel. So, with that in mind, we'll switch back to the Telecaster and try the picks again with a dirty sound. All right, then back with the Telecaster uh, plugged into the dirty channel on the amp. I like a bit of gain stacking, so there's a, a little bit of crunch on the amp itself, and then some more overdrive coming from a full tone Plimsoll overdrive pedal. As with clean samples from before, nothing really happening in the effects loop, just a, a little bit of reverb from a Boss RB6. Uh, this time around, I'm going to use the neck pickup on the, on the guitar and start off with a bit of reference tone from a regular celluloid pick. So that's a celluloid pick. Now the hardwood purple heart pick.
Blastly, the Buffalo Bone. Each one with its own distinctive sound, I think. Hopefully that's going to come across on the video. Certainly I can hear it in the room. And the one thing which obviously doesn't come over on video is the way that the, the picks feel. And these are very different uh, in feel. Certainly compared to the, the regular celluloid pick, the, the timber tones picks being thicker and different materials feel very different in the hand. Some I prefer over others but it's very, very subjective. And this is the sort of thing I think you need to go to your, your actual bricks and mortar music store, try a few picks out for yourself, or you, you could order some from, from Timber Tones themselves, they do sell, sell them singly, but they're not, they're not cheap. The, the horn and the bone pick that I've got here, I think these were about four pounds each, which compared to a, a regular celluloid pick, which you, you can pick up for what, 50 pence? Certainly, certainly less than a pound. Um, I mean those those uh, ones I was playing there, the fat fish picks. Technically, they're free because if you come and see me at a, at a show or something, I tend to give them away. Um, but they're they, you know, they're they're really really cheap, really low cost. The timber tones ones, like I say, are more expensive compared to something like a red bear pick, which is getting well well over I think it's twenty pounds plus. Um, for something like a red bear pick. The timber tones ones are a bit more affordable, but you still, if you're mail ordering them off the website, you're still taking a bit of a, a bit of a punt. That you're spending four pounds on something that's gonna that's gonna work for you. So it might be something you want to try and track down at your local music store. I'd recommend that you do because they do have a much different feel and sound to uh, regular picks, and that's the sort of thing it could influence the way you play. It could help with your creativity. Just help with your sound. Certainly of the ones I was playing there today, I've had the, the the wooden one for a while and I do play quite a bit and quite enjoy it. The Buffalo Bone one here, um, I find it quite harsh. It sounds okay, I can find, I think certainly I can think I find, I can find uses for it like for really dirty blues playing on a, on a Telecaster or something, but I think it's probably going to find its niche for me playing something like the cigar box guitar, which has got a good, bright, hard sound to it. Um, for regular playing, I think I'll probably lean more towards the, the wooden pick or the horn one. On the acoustic, uh, the bone, I think actually for me, had the nicer sound in the room, whether that comes over um, to you or not, uh, as being the best, I don't know. It, like I say, it's very subjective. Uh, but I don't know if it's got, on the acoustic, which has got thicker strings and it just I don't know if it, if it felt right it it's weird I could probably do this this video tomorrow shoot it again and I'll have a different opinion because sometimes it comes down to just how you feel on the day like I say it's very subjective so there's not much point in me rambling on here with my opinion it's really the idea of the video is to give you um, some insights into the fact there are some different types of pick material out there, timber tones, there's ones I'm playing here, the wood, the horn, the bone. If you look on the website, they've got all sorts of other materials like stone, uh, gemstones, different metals, and they do a carbon fiber type pick, in different shapes and sizes. So there's plenty of variety out there. And like I say, they have got their own distinctive sound. So it might be something that you find works for you sonically or just the way that the feel helps you with your playing. You just feel more natural playing and it helps with the creative process or whatnot. Go out, try some different picks, not necessarily timber tones. I mentioned timber tones because I got them from, that's where I got these picks from. They haven't paid me to do this. This isn't a, like a paid advert video or anything like that. Um, but say so go out and see what you can find and uh, see what you think for yourself. And as always, leave comments down there in the, the comments section or send me a message and, uh, and let me know your thoughts. 
If you like the video, please click like down there. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see other videos that I post onto the channel, then there's a button down there marked subscribe. If you click on that, you'll uh, be notified when I post new videos. If you've got a question, some people do leave me questions in the comments section, but to be honest, you're better off going here, filling in the form, setting your question in, and uh, I'll generally I'll see that more reliably than I will if someone puts a comment on uh, YouTube. YouTube doesn't always let me know when comments have been left on videos, so sometimes questions go uh, go unnoticed. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye for now.